Welcome to UNS Allotech. Today we are going to discuss about various allotropic forms of carbon. So let us before going to see the various allotropic forms of carbon, let us discuss what is allotropy. Allotropy is a particular character for an element. So how we are going to define allotropy is the existence of an element in various physical form but the chemical properties remain same. So I repeat the definition allotropy is uh, the existence of a particular element in various physical forms but the chemical properties remain same and these all different forms are called as what allotropes. So let us discuss how the various uh, allotropic forms of carbon. So basically there are two kinds of two types of allotropic forms existing by carbon one is crystalline form the another one is amorphous form. So let us discuss let us see what are the various crystalline forms of carbon. So if you see the crystalline allotropic forms of carbon the first one is diamond the second one is graphite and the third one is florence. So we are going to discuss uh, the various crystalline forms in live model I mean with the help of 3D models. So before that let us discuss what are the various amorphous forms of carbon. So these are various amorphous forms of carbon one is lamp black the another one is coke the another one is charcoal. So in this session we are going to discuss about various crystalline allotropic forms of carbon as already I have discussed with you. So the three allotro crystalline allotropic forms of carbon are diamond, graphite and florence. Now let us discuss in detail the properties and the structure of each and every crystalline form. So let us start with diamond. See here you are having a real picture of a diamond. So which is appearing very hard, brittle and very shiny. So let me show you the 3D picture of uh, the diamond. So here it is a 3D picture of a diamond. So you can see the carbon atoms here all the carbon atoms are arranged in tetrahedral fashion. See each and every carbon atom. Now we are going to study about the property, the structural arrangement and the various properties of diamond with the help of a real 3D picture. Let us study the properties of a diamond with the help of a real model. See here this is a model of a diamond. So let us study the properties. So if you cleanly observe the model so here each and every carbon is bonded with four other carbon atoms with a covalent bond. See here this is a carbon 1, 2, 3, 4. So each and every carbon atom is bonded with four other carbon atoms through covalent bond formation. Actually this bond is very hard, very strong. So that is the reason this diamond is having a very hard structure in three dimensional network. So as already we know the diamond is very hardest substance in the universe and which is very difficult to break that is only because of what this rigid three dimensional covalent bond formation between each and every carbon atom. So let us see the bond length for example if you consider the bond length between each and every carbon atom this is a single bond length they are uh, bonded with through a single bond. So this bond length is how much 154 picometers. So each single bond of carbon and carbon is 154 picometers. Now let us discuss about a very important property of uh, diamond that is electrical property. See actually diamond is a bad conductor of electricity. What is the basic reason behind this? This is a very important concept to learn while studying the properties of a diamond. See let us see as already you know the valency of carbon is 4. So carbon is having 4 electrons. So in diamond each carbon is bonded with another 4 carbon atoms forming 4 covalent bonds. So if you see all the valence electrons are engaged in covalent bond formation. So there is no availability of a free electron which is very responsible for the conductivity of electricity. So if you see the diamond see here all the bonds all the four bonds all the four electrons valence electrons are bonded with four other carbon atoms and as a result there is no free electron. So because of this reason so you do not conduct any, any electricity because of the non availability of free electron. So this is the very important property of a diamond where why the conductivity or the electrical conductivity of a diamond is not possible it is because of non availability of valence electron. Now let us see the next crystalline allotropic form of carbon that is graphite. See here you can see the real picture of a graphite. So it is not shining like a diamond right. 
So, let us study about the properties of this graphite. So, here is the 3 D uh, picture of a graphite where the graphite is arranged in layer structure. Let us see the 3 D picture of graphite. So, here you see the 3 D picture of a graphite, it is having a layered structure and all these layers are connected through weak van der Waal forces of attraction. And if you see here all the carbon atoms are arranged in hexagonal pattern and each carbon atom is bonded with three other carbon atoms. So, this layered structure is responsible for the lubrication nature. Now, let us discuss the properties of graphite with the help of 3D model. Here you see this is a 3D model of a graphite. As already I told you the graphite is having layered structure. You see here the layered structure and these layers are connected by weak van der Waal forces of attraction. See here you can see. So, whatever the blue color straw is representing the weak van der Waal forces of attraction. So, because of this weak van der Waal forces of attraction, the layer can slide one over the another and that is responsible for the sliding nature of graphite. So, it is slippery in nature and it can act as a lubricant. So, now let us see, see if you see the structure from the front part, the carbon atom is bonded with three other carbon atoms where only three valence electrons are utilized in the bonding. So, one more electron is non bonded electron which is responsible for the conductivity of electricity. So, if you see in diamond, so all the four electrons are bonded with four other carbon atoms while in the case of graphite, so each carbon atom is bonded only with the three other carbon atoms while one electron is left over which is responsible for the conductivity of electricity. So, that is the reason graphite is a good conductor of electricity while the diamond is not a good conductor of electricity due to non availability of electron in diamond, it is a non conductor and here due to availability of electron in the graphite, it is a good conductor of electricity. Now, let us study the another crystalline allotropic form of carbon that is fullerene. So, let us see here, so this is the actual structure of fullerene. Now, See if you see like diamond and graphite it is not naturally occurring allotropic form. So, when graphite is heated in an electric arc in the presence of helium or argon, so you are going to get the new allotropic form that is called as what fluorine. So, let us see the structure here, so how it is going to be the pattern and all. So, if you see here it is arranged in a ball shape like a case kind of ball shape like structure where the carbon atom is bonded with a single bond and double bond, alternative single bonds and double bonds. So, if you see you are having a hexagonal pattern as well as a pentagonal pattern arranged in a ball like structure. So, let us study about the properties of this fullerenes. So, here I will show you a 3D model of fullerene. You see the structure here. It is just like a cage like structure is not it a ball that is why it is also known as what a bucky ball. So, in this the carbon atoms are arranged in alternate double bond and single bond and we are having nearly 60 number of carbon atoms that is why it is also known as what C60. So, if you see the arrangement these carbon atoms are arranged in hexagonal pattern see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 it is a hexagon and here you see it is a pentagon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it contains hexagonal and pentagonal rings and if you see totally nearly 20 hexagonal rings are there and 12 pentagonal rings totally together containing 60 number of carbon atoms. So, that is why it is spherical fluorence is also known as what buckyball. I hope you all enjoyed this session and understood the various allotropic forms of carbon and their properties. So, if you want to learn more concepts in this way, you please enroll UNS EduTech online courses. So, please fill the form which is given in the description, our counselors will connect with you. So, thank you once again for watching the video and uh, uh, please subscribe our channel. So, stay tuned with us. Thank you. Bye.